St. Louis High School shooting results in two deaths, gunman is killed. St. Louis a shooter who broke into a high school in St. Louis on Monday morning killed a mother and a teenage girl and wounded six others before being shot and killed by police. Students at Central Visual and Performing Arts High School were compelled to barricade doors, hide in classroom corners, leap from windows, and flee the building in order to find safety when a shooting occurred shortly after 9 a.m. One terrified young woman claimed she was face to face with the shooter when his rifle allegedly jammed, allowing her to escape. Others inside the school said they heard the shooter declare, you are all going to die. The city's police chief said fast actions by a security guard and police officers who ran to the gunfire helped end the shooting before more people were killed or hurt. Speaking at a news conference, police chief Michael Sachs said the shooter was about 20 years old but did not provide a name for him or his victims. He declined to say if the woman killed was a teacher. St. Louis Schools Superintendent Kelvin Adams said seven security guards were in the school at the time, each at an entry point of the locked building. One of the guards noticed the man trying to get in at a locked door, but couldn't. The guard notified school officials and insured police were contacted, Sack said. He declined to say how the man eventually got inside, armed with what he described as a long gun. Central Visual and Performing Arts shares a building with another magnet school, Collegiate School of Medicine and Bioscience which also was evacuated. Central has 383 students, collegiate 336. Officers worked to get students out of the three-story brick building, then ran to that gunfire, located that shooter and engaged that shooter in an exchange of gunfire, killing him, Sack said. Monday's school shooting was the 40th this year resulting in injuries or death, according to Italy by Education Week, the most in any single year since it began tracking shootings in 2018. These include the killings at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, in May, when 19 children and two teachers died. Monday St. Louis shooting came on the same day a Michigan teenager pleaded guilty to terrorism and first-degree murder in a school shooting that killed four students in December 2021. Some of the six people hospitalized suffered gunshot wounds, while others were struck by shrapnel, Sack said. He did not provide any information on their conditions. Ninth grader Nyla Jones told the Post-Dispatch she was in math class when the shooter fired into the room from the hallway. The shooter was unable to get into the room and banged on the door as students piled into a corner, she said. Janae Douglas' 15-year-old daughter got stuck in a hallway when the school was locked down. Douglas said she received a call from her daughter letting her know she had heard shots. One of her friends busted through the door, he was shot in the hand, and then her and her friends just took off running. The phone disconnected. Douglas said. I was on my way. Our children shouldn't have to experience this, Jones said at the news conference. They shouldn't have to go through active shooter drills in case something happens. And unfortunately that happened today. The school district placed all of its schools on lockdown for the remainder of the day, and cancelled all after school activities, including sports. It was that timely response by that security officer, the fact that the door did cause pause for the suspect, that bought us some time. Sack said.